A male anchor was connecting with the audience. At this moment, an old man called, complaining about the high cost of electricity. But Yoon is a relationship station, so he hung up. Then the old man called again. He threatened to blow up the Han River Bridge. Yoon listened. He said, go ahead and blow it up. I'm really going to blow it up. He says, Yoon said, please blow it up quickly. Then there was a loud bang. I didn't expect him to blow up the bridge. Then the phone rang. The old man said, I'll call you back. He hung up. Yoon wrote down the old man's name from memory. Then he dialed the police. But this is a big scoop. So Yoon hung up. He called his supervisor. Put my conversation with the culprit on live video. It'll be a hit. Then he turned into a TV anchor. At that moment, the suspect's call came in. The old man was interviewed. Turns out he's the same worker who built the bridge 30 years ago. And the year before that, because of a national event, the government asked them to work overnight. Three workers accidentally fell into the water. But the rescue team didn't come in time. The workers died. The president must apologize to them. But what can Yoon do? When he called again, the phone went dead. The supervisor cut the phone. The old man wants to talk to Yoon. The anchor woman said no. Old man said, I've got a few more bombs here. The switch is in my hand. And then... <laughs> Yoon saw his colleague's anchor being blown up. He immediately warned old man. It won't do any good to mess with the media. Old man said the anchor was only slightly injured. But you have a bomb in your headset. You'll be blown up as soon as you leave or tell anyone. Yoon asked old man why he did this to him. The old man said, only you can make the president apologize on TV. Then the old man detonated the bomb. The bridge was blown into three sections. The people on the middle section of the bridge became hostages. Yoon had to go on air again. The old man said he had 10 minutes to get the president to apologize. Otherwise, he'll kill everyone on the bridge. Yoon called the president immediately. The phone was answered by the president's secretary. She said she'd do her best. She hung up. Then the head of the counterterrorism center came to the studio. He asked Yoon to stabilize old man first. But 10 minutes later, the police chief came. The chief advised old man to turn himself in early. If old man doesn't cooperate, he'll expose his son's identity. Then the chief saw the people around him, blown up. Director asked Dean to provoke the old man. He told him to kill the hostages, so that the government would have a reason to arrest old man. But he didn't. Instead, he said the president is next door, come to the scene and accept the apology. But old man didn't believe him, and laughed at him, didn't you take the money too? As Yoon was wondering, the other TV station went straight to Yoon's scene. Yoon's embezzlement was revealed. It turns out that the supervisor saw that Yoon didn't follow orders, he threatened him with a scandal. On the other hand, the ex-wife also contacted the studio. She pleaded with old man to let the woman and child go. She said he can't do it with just hostages and bombs. But if the public opinion is raised, it's possible. The old man agreed. But just as he was about to pick them up, the bridge collapsed. Yoon collapsed. Is it that hard to apologize? At that moment, the army has also located the old man's location. While they're trying to arrest him, the old man called. He said he put a bomb in the building. After hearing what old man said, Yoon immediately contacted the anti-terrorist unit. But it was too late. The bomb detonated, the building collapsed, and crashed into Yoon's building. But he's okay. That's when he got the call. The call said, in order to give the public an explanation, the government has decided to announce to the public, Yoon and old man are working together. He said he was too young to be simple and hung up. Then old man called. He begged old man to let him go. And old man told the truth. There was no bomb in the headset. It was just to scare him. Then he dared to take off the headset. On his way out of the building, Yoon saw the news. It turns out the caller was the son of one of the three murdered workers. The old man's son came into the studio. Yoon jumps out. They got into a fight. The old man's son accidentally fell off a building. Yoon asks him why he didn't pick the others. The old man's son said, because you're the only news your father ever watched. Yoon is touched. Just as Yoon is about to pull him up, he heard a gunshot. The son fell back down again. Yoon grabbed him and said, I'm sorry, I apologize on his behalf. Old man, my son finally fell. Yoon recalled everything that happened. He pushed the button to explode. The building went up in flames with him. 